Giant isopods are fascinating deep sea scavengers. Much like their distant relatives, the pill bugs, giant isopods are also crustaceans. Typically, these invertebrates can be found between 170 meters and 2,140 meters, but most of them live between 365 to 730 meters. Although their distribution is not fully known, they have been found in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. The most concentrated diversity occurs on the continental slopes off eastern Australia and off Brazil. There were 20 species of giant isopod, but scientists have recently discovered a new species in Indonesian waters, which has never had giant isopods present before. Giant isopods can be divided by size, as these species show gigantism. The giant species are generally 3.1 to 5.9 inches long. The supergiant species are typically 6.7 to 19.7 inches in length. The biggest supergiant species ever recorded was 30 inches long, or 2.5 feet. It is thought that the gigantism helps increase effectiveness of food search and consumption, especially in the deep sea where resources are limited. Larger animals can swim farther and search a larger area to satisfy their food requirements. And, a larger body size also allows them to eat a lot at one time, as they may not find food for several months to years. These species can go a long time without eating. One giant isopod held in captivity in Japan went five full years without having a single bite of food. The following clip will be of an unfortunate vessel strike on a right whale, which happens too often, to demonstrate the giant isopod scavenger lifestyle. Meanwhile, 12 seconds later. Studies have shown seasonal reproduction patterns for giant isopods, where they reproduce during the winter months with high food contents. Female giant isopods brood the largest eggs of all marine invertebrates. The females develop a pouch above her stomach where 20 to 30 eggs are stored until they hatch. These eggs are over half an inch in diameter. When these eggs hatch, the babies are just little versions of the mom. Deep sea giant isopods have highly reflective compound eyes. It was first thought that these eyes were used to detect food, distance, and light levels in the deep sea. Scientists now believe that the eyes may not even be needed to find food at all. An experiment containing a detailed dissection of their compound eyes found that after exposure to direct sunlight, there was irreversible structural damage to the photoreceptors in the eyes, and that these animals sense their environment extremely well in low light conditions. In addition to their four sets of jaws for tearing prey apart, these creatures may get help from symbionts in their stomachs to thrive in the food-limited deep sea. RRNA sequencing from their stomachs have revealed symbiotic bacteria enriched with genes that encode for mechanisms responsible in the uptake of sugars, amino acids, and other carbohydrates. This is one of the many adaptations for living in the depths. Because of the limitations in the deep sea, how these species fully function remains a mystery. For future studies, I believe more baited food fault traps should be set with video footage to show detailed information about how these creatures find their food, as well as their response time to a food fall. Additionally, scientists are uncertain about how well these species can adapt to a rapidly changing climate. Perhaps research can be done to determine their resiliency. You're probably all wondering, but Zach, can I eat them? And the answer is yes, you can. Apparently they taste similar to a crab. And that's everything you need to know about deep sea giant isopods.